Welcome everyone to the first session of CLO Academic Month 2023. It's a pleasure to have you all here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for also telling where you are from. You see, we have a chat. We can see your messages. Don't hesitate to write to us. It's always a pleasure to see them and we will reply to you right away. Today, we are kicking off the academic month with Instituto Secoli from Italy. I have Ariana and Marco with me today. But every Wednesday from today to November 15, at the same time, 5.30 p.m. Um, Central Europe time, we will be holding the academic month. Before I tell you more um, about it, let me introduce myself. My name is Fernanda. I'm the academic lead of CLO Europe. I joined CLO in 2021. I'm based here in Munich. My work is to support schools when implementing CLO. Um, I also help with the licenses, guide with trainings, anything that a school needs for implementation you can count on me. Don't hesitate to contact us if you're interested in start teaching CLO at your school. It will be a pleasure to help. You can write to us. Today with me, I have Ariana. She's a pattern making um, teacher at Instituto Secoli. And I also have Marco, uh, who is a student, both from Instituto Secoli, and they will be sharing how I school with such great reputation in pattern making is using CLO for classes. Before we start, I just wanted to share with you a bit more about the purpose of this academic month. So the idea is that every year we give the stage to the school um, to share how they've implemented the software. We have so many great stories with schools that are doing such different projects with CLO and I, we think it's important to share this with our community and because by doing this, uh, each school can learn with each other. It's the third edition, uh, it started in 2021. I encourage you to check the recordings from the past editions. You can see this in our YouTube channel. Um, and there we have many schools that already shared how they teach CLO, how they've implemented CLO. I highly recommend you checking this. Today, we will have the Instituto Secoli talking about pattern making, how they've successfully implemented to their classes. On next Wednesday, on the 25th of October, we will then hear from Design School Coding and Partners how they've applied for Erasmus Plus funding. On the week after, we will have um, Arts University Bournemouth from the UK sharing with us shape, not size, so this is a research from the professor Penelope Norman. Uh, she will share how bespoke avatars can improve fitting, inclusivity and sustainability. Then we have the German International School from Cairo. They will be sharing implementation from scratch, how they designed the course and how they've implemented um, CLOT to their fashion design program and also how they usually do multidisciplinary projects with other classes. And lastly, the last one, it's Hanover University in Rio Meets Digital. They will share on 15th of November um, how they digitized the garment of a duke from the 16th century. Now it's time to bring to the stage Ariana and Marco from Instituto Secoli. Uh, you can see here their web page on this link. So, Ariana, um, it's a pleasure to have you here. Um, please, 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 I'll stop sharing now and the mic is yours. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm uh, Ariana Sumetti, CAT pattern making teacher at the Institute of Secoli. Uh, I've studied uh, fashion design in Politecnico here in Milan. I attended uh, the master women's wear here in uh, Istituto Secoli and after and uh, I've been teaching cat pattern makings uh, for 10 years and in addition to this I'm a pattern maker uh, for some brands and fashion companies. In this session I will tell you about the schools and how CLO is a uh, study in our courses. But uh, I introduce uh, the school and a little bit a uh, story. 
Carlo Secoli uh, founded the school in 1934 in Treviso with the intentions to spread the sartorial cultures and traditional uh, and traditions. And uh, at the same time, uh, transmit a professional method of uh, how they design and bring to life per perfectly uh, designed garments. Uh, over the years, uh, the Institute has uh, trained more than 80,000 students. Istituto Secoli is a hub of talent in a highly dynamic, uh, contemporary and uh, international environment uh, with uh, 34 different nat nationalities attending the courses. Uh, where students can learn the Secoli method and a key factor is uh, of success for, for tomorrow fashion and market. Uh, the first training program offer, uh, offered are uh, the pattern making ones. The innovations uh, introduced to this uh, discipline allow for the accurate creations, development and transformations for any patterns. So as to identify marry uh, the histories of Istituto Secoli with the histories and development of industrial pattern making. In uh, 1962, the school started to organize the, uh, the first time and method analysis courses in partnership with the research offices of the most important uh, machineries manufacturers uh, for the clothing industry as well as a few American training schools with the primary objective of promoting professional development. Uh, it uh, imparts the knowledge and techniques to manage our uh, workstations, a production line, plan work cycles and calculate times and costs of production. This uh, has made it possible to map the elements to make uh, up the profession, uh, professions working uh, within fashion brands. Uh, to record the evolutions over time and the changing professional needs. Um, for a pattern maker, a knowledge of the manufacturing process of a garment is essential, and the numbers of how are dedicated to tailoring and prototyping has increased. Uh, large, bright classroom and studies equipment will all the machinery and software necessary for acquiring the Sepoli method. The layout of the institutes has been designed to mirror the various stages of productions that go into the designing and creating collection. Each part of the process has its own design space, giving the students a taste of what it is uh, like to work in the different departments, which can be found in all of the major fashion brands. Uh, the prototypist result as one of the most uh, sought after professional roles by fashion companies in Italy, especially in the Novara area. And from here, is the Sepoli project uh, Novara was born. Uh, open uh, a school of excellence dedicated to training of prototypes and partnership with brands with the aim uh, of uh, satisfying the present and future needs for, of companies of the sector, fashion sector. Here you can see the partner companies of the prototyping projects at the, uh, the Novara site. And uh, now I have a question for you. Well, pattern making is uh, for Istituto Secoli and I explain a little bit uh, what is for us. The, the paper patterns is the set of paper shapes of the elements uh, that make up a garment. At Isisu Secoli, we have a, a developed um, a method based on the proportionate uh, size table between heights and circumferences, where the stators and uh, calculations of our methods give the uh, correct proportions for making patterns. The base is constructed by dividing into sector, for example, chest, waist, hip, and abutments, and by means of calculations, the points to create the various lines of the patterns are found. Um, after that, the basis line are checked in length and shape. We can also do the same things with the virtual model from the 2D base, but as in the uh, parts, we create the uh, pro a prototype. Uh, then we move on the editing parts to realize the style ideas by creating cuts and changing the width or length measurements of the garments uh, itself. Now I have a video for you. In 
In this video, you can see my colleague that analyzes a sketch and starting from the base, modify uh, the fit about these jackets and uh, create uh, uh, the reading got cat lines and insert the new label. And adding all of the information at the patterns, like the green lines, all of that we need. And he goes to make the patterns and um, relating on the sketch. Then checks the line, all of the lines, put the is and put some notches. And then construct uh, a colors and those the test on the mannequins and future modify the feet. Uh, finally, the stitching and the entire industrialization parts uh, for making the garments uh, is adding to the garment, to the pattern, sorry. Uh, lastly, uh, all uh, internal parts, uh, such as uh, pockets, uh, lining, uh, reinforced uh, uh, interfacing are designed. Uh, let's talk about uh, for a moment uh, at the design process uh, that we use in the Istituto Secoli. Uh, studying fashion uh, in at this two secoli is a, a cyclical process. Uh, it means uh, tackling all the aspects that uh, make up the production process. We start with the research, we study the, uh, of trends and consequently the uh, conception of the concept, and then move on the creative parts of the collections with the study of shapes and volumes fabrics and color results. The entire design of the collections uh, with sketches, uh, uh, flat patterns uh, and uh, um, related technical sheets. We then move on the pattern making and prototyping parts, the development uh, of uh, CAT and final, the industrializations of the product. Within the courses uh, is a slightly different way uh, all these steps are daily dealt with. Uh, now, uh, let's look especially, um, specifically at uh, how the courses are structured. The first uh, is the uh, three years course. Our three years course are divided in men's wear and women's wear. There is a men's and women's product. Uh, the course uh, lasts three years and is in two uh, different languages, Italian and English. The course uh, was uh, accredited these years yeah, as a university course. In this course, students uh, discover and study all of the disciplines that are necessary for the entire production process. During the third year, we added claw lessons for the virtual prototyping parts. The course started from scratch with how to use the basic functions, create patterns directly in 2D areas and assemble them uh, on the avatar. Each student created his or a her own customized avatar in terms of both size and appearance. We also add to the basic parts uh, all the accessories and customization that can make the garment as real as possible, such as a zip, uh, a buttons, draw uh, strings, piping, and stop stitch or uh, graphics. We created the outfits and the rendering parts in a empty spaces or in a stage. And finally, also the animation, the size development and the printing parts of the paper pattern for the plotter. We have another courses that calls master courses. There is a postgraduate courses. Uh, this course is a, a one and a half year specialization course. Uh, the focus on this course is on a pattern making, prototype and cast system. There is also fashion design lessons aimed at the um, thesis project. For the CLO lectures parts, uh, a somewhat less in-depth syllabus in followed 
uh, compre um, compared to the three years course, uh, but still comprehensive. And not last, but the intensive uh, um, course in um, prototyping uh, is a sp special course. Uh, the partner uh, participating in the project uh, in Novara uh, becomes full-fledged uh, protagonist. The cooperation begins from the planning phases to the didactic plan that come from the results uh, of the analysis uh, uh, of the professional profile uh, of the prototypists currently working in each part partner companies. Um, to continue uh, with the selections phase during uh, which each company is involved uh, in the search for the most uh, appropriate uh, profile. In addition, uh, companies um, actively uh, contribute to the training, making it uh, even more specific and targeted through. For example, uh, we have days of, vid of visiting and uh, cooperative learning inside the prototype department of each partner. Uh, the supply models uh, and materials to each participants uh, for the making of an original prototype uh, with the supervision uh, of a um, senior brand prototypist. And at the end of the academic course, uh, each company guarantees uh, to at uh, least three participants uh, an internship aimed at the possible uh, requirements. The partners support the Institute uh, in uh, uh, financing of uh, scholarship for the most deserving students. Uh, for these courses, the close part is only an introduction, it's only for uh, five lessons uh, to make students uh, understand how to read uh, patterns uh, and how to create a virtual prototype uh, as they actually do um, in class. Uh, the last course is uh, the um, online courses, uh, the um, specializing uh, courses in, in CLO. Uh, is a shorter CLO, uh, course that we have, it's only five weeks, is online courses in which we see all the potentials of the software. Okay. Uh, every uh, many garments uh, are designed uh, and created at the Istituto Secoli. Around 80 uh, and of course it's thesis, uh, we have a seven, around 10 capsule collections for designer to watch and uh, a garments for the uh, Secoli fashion show. The last videos for you for the 40th uh, anniversary of the Secoli fashion show here, this here. Uh, five outfits uh, uh, were selected, one for the each decade, uh, and in collaboration with some third-year students and Prismatec, we created uh, uh, the virtual fashion show. Thank you for your attention. Uh, I leave the floor to Marco, who will talk uh, about uh, his studies and the projects that he has created with uh, the CLO uh, program. Hello everyone, I'm Marco. I'm a student here in Istituto Secoli. And before here, I studied in a high school focused on IT. 
And then I decided to follow my passion for fashion design and choose to come here in Secoli. And I've done the three year course. During the, the third year, we started learning about Clotre D. And during lessons, we started uh, learning and practicing the basic tool on Clo. Then we moved on to adding details like fabric uh, accessories and top stitches. And the last part was dedicated to produce an output result, which can be uh, images, video, or uh, printable patterns. Here on the screen, you can see my final project for Clo Lessons. This project was designed to help us uh, really understand how we can combine the skills learned during the uh, pattern making lesson, find a way to combine it with the Clo 3D features. So everyone um, had to choose an illustration from the past year. Personally, I chose uh, one from my second year for winter collection. And then like everyone, I um, created the uh, 3D model of the outfit drone. And for that, I started from a base block and then I started um, making changes in order to uh, have the result that I've drawn on the illustration. Uh, here, as you can see, we have a um, basic dress with darts on the left, and then the result of my mod uh, modification on the right. Here, the, um, we have a video that I prepared for you where I'm showing you how I um, create the image that you see in the previous um, slide. Here, as you can see, I started by simulating the base garment and then I'm starting uh, making changes. I started from the front and uh, I created a horizontal cut and then closed the breast dart. Then I started creating vertical cuts in order to uh, have a different um, fit. Then I'm adjusting some lines. After that, I decided to make the uh, dress longer by moving the hemline. And then I'm uh, doing the same um, modification on the back. So as you can see, I'm doing horizontal and vertical cuts to have the same visual effect that I have on the on the front. Um, here, as you can see, I'm using um, some um, tool that we have on Claw uh, with, that allow me to make changes and um, cut and sew at the same time the pieces. So right here, I'm just, as you can see, um, making the line smoother, okay. Then check, I like how it fit. Then as you can see, I'm putting some uh, points on the bottom part of in both the front and the back because I wanted to add some uh, panel inside the, these cuts. So as you can see, uh, now I'm creating a new pattern from, mm, from zero. I'm doing the same thing on the front. So I'm creating a new pattern for the panel that I'm putting in the uh, vertical cuts. And I'm doing the same thing that I did in, on the back and I'm simulating everything together to see the result. In the last part, I'm adding fabrics so I can see the real effect of the final garment because each fabric will give um, different appearance uh, on our look. I'm also um, adding some um, personalization, like giving a little textures, colors, etc. So yeah, that's the the final result that we have. I'm stopping here. I was making just little changes after that. Then I, I decided to use 
Claude 3D also for my um, thesis project. And I, um, because uh, everyone at uh, the end of the three year course has to um, make a thesis. Uh, the thesis is about a collection that we have to design. And then we choose three outfits from the collection and we have to create the real garment. So I decided for the pattern making process to use claw instead of paper. And I, as you can see here, I have some example on how I took my illustration from the collection and I created the um, virtual um, model of my uh, design. And then I was able also to um, print the pattern and then um, create the physical um, garment. Here are three examples on how I've worked. And I found it that Clo helped me in this, um, in this step because I was able to um, understand better what I'm, uh, I was doing because I was able to um, create the pattern, simulate and see if there were anything that I didn't like and make the changes um, right on the 2D part. And this was, was really helpful for me because um, I was also able to um, be a little bit uh, more sustainable um, for the environment, especially. And because I used less paper and less fabric because, um, for example, um, my classmate needed to make more real um, canvas garment before having the um, better result. I was able to do the first steps on the 3D model and then I could make less changes in the final canvas garment before making the actual one. Thank you, Marco and Ariana. It was amazing. Uh, I was impressed to see the results of, of your work, Marco. I, I will start um, with you. And I see that you are both a pattern maker and also a designer, right? Uh, I, in this school, I studied both uh, fashion design and pattern making. I studied also uh, sewing. Mm -hmm. and so yeah, um, Claw is very. I found it very useful, both as a pattern maker and as a um, designer. Because as a designer, I I'm able to understand better what I'm drawing, and uh, especially because here in Istituto Secoli, we really focus in the um, design part, not thinking uh, just at the um, creative idea, but also uh, creating um, illustrations and flats that are as um, technical as possible. Mm. So with all the details that we will um, use in the pattern making process. So making sure to uh, draw uh, garments that are as possible um, the same uh, that we will see on the uh, actual garment. Yeah. As a, um, as a pattern maker, Clo is useful, as I said before, because each um, change that I make on the 2D part, I can immediately see the result on the 3D part and then make uh, the adjustment that I need. As mm -hmm. you saw also in the video, I make some little changes in terms of the shaping line. So um, this is really, is really helpful. It's yes. also helpful when um, someone is doing a project like mine, so has to follow the uh, collection through all the steps because uh, I was also able to understand how to sew the pieces together before actually sewing them with the sewing machine yeah I, I remember you told me this when we talked and i found it really interesting yeah. because you have um, pattern making skills you have sewing skills you are a designer and then i really remember you saying that 
when you are building the 3D, you're already thinking about how you will do the sewing in, in real life. And I found this really interesting to hear. Um, Ariana, thank you for the presentation. It was so nice to see um, the structure of the courses and how uh, you, you prepare the classes. What I wanted to hear from you is that I, I saw that on the BA course, they start learning law at the third year, right? And then on the master, when they do the, the master degree, it, when do they start learning law? Uh, at master courses, uh, we have a, the last semester is the third semester because the course is during one uh, well, year yeah. and a half. Yeah. And we have a semester, uh, um, inter-semesters for studying law. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, more than 15 lessons. Uh, we're doing lessons in class uh, and we have a uh, uh, a lot of um, video uh, that I'm recording for the students. Mm -hmm. We're doing a lesson in the class uh, that I explain and um, students uh, trying to um, improve yeah, their yeah. Flow, uh, garments or everything yeah. they want. And um, respect to the uh, third year course, uh, we uh, see and learn uh, all of the functions we have less time to doing uh, the, the exercise. They don't have the exam, for example, or a specific project like Marco, uh, but uh, they have the possibility to create uh, their own uh, um, thesis parts uh, like Marco. Every student has this possibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, um, yeah, that's great. And I, I, I see, here's some questions um, like sh uh, in comments as well. Shen um, is saying that students need to learn the craft of making and also the relation between physical and digital. Uh, it's completely different, a uh, uh, 100%, um, Sean. And, and I think that's one of the reasons why some school starts with CLO not right on the first years and as a Instituto Secular, they start on the, on the third year. Um, Yes, we start uh, CLO uh, the last year uh, because at the first years and the second, uh, we prefer to teach uh, the students how to do patterns by paper. And mm -hmm. at the second years, we use uh, other um, CAD systems because uh, we have a lot of CAD system in Istituto Secoli and we divided uh, the courses uh, in the first, the second and the last year. And I think that uh, uh, using uh, CAD system and GLOW system uh, after to learn how to create the real patterns the best way to use the programs mm -hmm. because uh, we we know before everything uh, about patterns, uh, darts, uh, uh, checking lines, uh, and then we can apply with programs because uh, we have a, a little problems learn <laughs> pattern makings and how to use the programs we have uh, two different uh, informations and the, the people or students uh, has a little problem to uh, mix up everything and then we decided to divide in steps uh, uh, this processing mm -hmm. yeah and fantastic there there is one more a technical question let's see uh, maybe to you or to marco um i just from marcella um, I just would like to ask um, how you manage all facings, fusings, and inner details of the jacket. Uh, I can answer. That's the same. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. For the jackets, uh, we're starting at the uh, external fabrics and creating uh, basic patterns. We um, assemble the, the patterns at the avatars and then uh, put some interfacing and structures under uh, the base one, the base parts. Then uh, I prefer to uh, divide the lining and all of the, um, um, the fusible and then apply it at the second time. Uh, obviously, it depends uh, if you need uh, garments, uh, is the first uh, trying canvas or is for the final um, website uh, results. Uh, it depends uh, how many details do you need at these uh, garments. But uh, we 
trying to do our best and put everything that I find in new real garments. Because then uh, at final results, we can um, make it a marker, a print layout for the plotters that we plot uh, all of our patterns directly at the clo. Mm -hmm. We put small ones, it's not just everything that we did for the industrialization parts, obviously, and then we get print layouts and plot them in paper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I think it's it's also important to remember that Clo is done for the fashion industry. We have a sister company, which is Marvelous Designer. Marvelous is um, dedicated to the film industry. So, of course, there, um, the tech, the tech pack, film allowance, this is not taken in consideration. But for Clo, this is very important. So we can add some allowances, which is super important, the notches. You can see the print layout. Uh, so I have a question yeah, from Ansha. She She is asking, and I think we've already answered, hopefully, um, how we can explain to pattern makers that glow is not only for designers. I've come across many pattern makers who don't see the idea um, of making patterns with this tool. So yeah, as I mentioned, we have the both sides, we have the 3D and the 2D window, and it's they are equally important. It always depends um, in the user, right? You can use Glow to design, you can use Glow to, for, for doing the pattern making. And we uh, had the chance today to see Marco doing the pattern um, with all the required details um, that, that was needed. Um, and let's see if we have uh, more questions that we haven't um, replied to yet. Um, and yeah, there is one here. Good work, Sakuli. It's a great job. Yeah, nice. Thank you for the all nice, nice messages. Um, yeah, and one thing that I also um, uh, remember, Ariana, when we talked, uh, is that you gave the example of a student that I think that she draw up um, some trousers in the wrong proportion, and then she ended up with a ten meter. Uh, yes, yes. Sometimes, uh, I, I few days ago we were talking about the students and programs, and uh, I say that uh, sometimes my students. Uh, uh, has a problem with the uh, measurements uh, at the programs because it is a uh, not so easy to understand the portions about our patterns in a programs or our computers. And then I made an example that one student constructed a trouser that is uh, ten meters longer, but in our program in our computers is only thirty centimeters. Is okay. I can see everything is a proportional, but okay. But you have ten meters uh, trousers. Okay, you can do everything. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can do everything, but um, you can uh, create uh, your uh, your patterns directly in, uh, in Glow or uh, any other CAD systems. But pay attention at the measurements and the units. <laughs> yes, yes, sometimes, and but not only one time happened that. <laughs> Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. And this this probably would not happen with Claw, right? We have the in the 2D, for example, we have the the, the avatar in a one-to-one -one measure. So if you do a huge pattern, you see that there's something wrong. Yeah, and uh, the same things happen when you're changing some measurements about the avatar and you make uh, some made to measure avatars and wants to yeah. doing patterns on that. And you immediately understand that if you're uh, Garment is not uh, fit very well because when we doing something so thin, so uh, slim, at a body that it has a, a bigger circumference, is we can understand immediately if your uh, garment is not okay. Uh, the pants, at the fabrics, you can change these fabrics uh, at your library and put a wool or a jersey, a different jersey or elastic garments. Uh, elastic fabrics, uh, you can see immediately the difference between these garment, that garments with the different fabrics. Mm, yeah, fantastic. Okay, so uh, uh, th uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Um, ah, that's a good one. What, what advice would you give for those that are teaching claw? I suggest to, to take uh, a lot of patience, <laughs> a lot of patience. And uh, for example, in my lessons, I divided uh, all of the lessons in a different topics. Uh, I made an, exam an easy example. I divided, uh, for example, the first parts in a navigation, selections, and how to move in a 3D parts, because uh, probably the students uh, use other graphic programs, but they uh, they has only uh, 2D uh, dimensions, okay? And moving in a 3D parts is not so easy for the students at the first uh, time, and at the first month. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I divided uh, another lesson in uh, how to construct patterns, how to modify the patterns, or for example, uh, a different lessons uh, to uh, using accessory, uh, button, zip, uh, and top stitch or piping and binding. Okay, I prefer to divide it in uh, little topics uh, because uh, if we ex um, explain a lot of times, the student forgot. <laughs> there is a shorter and um, shorter explanations the best ways to teach something for me obviously I made uh, mini videos <laughs> for every uh, every tool is at, uh, at Clo. I don't know if Marco like it <laughs> but yeah yeah it's, I, I agree with Arianna because um, while learning how to use a program, it's really important to do baby steps and not do everything in the first lesson. So do things slowly helps to understand really how to use the program. And then another important part is practice. So another important thing that um, we did uh, is practice. Practice a lot, have some basic exercise for the first lessons and this is one of the best things because as always with practice comes everything so you will be um, more um, confident with the program yeah now a hundred percent that's also how i started um when i learned uh, when i learned claw i thought it was easier to start with the patterns that i had ready and also with products that I already knew. So I would take pictures of my paper patterns and build the 3D and then I would compare uh, with my real um, garment. And they, it was amazing because it was the same and then I could use it, uh, the, the piece to see the construction. So I think this is also a great tip to, to how to start if you already um, work with fashion, you already have some patterns, then you just have to try the 3D. Yeah, it will not be so hard. I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, Ariana and Marco for sharing um, for sharing your knowledge with us and your experience. Uh, thank, thank you too. Yeah, thank I hope you that everyone you that listened to us. <laughs> yes. Um, and yeah, so for the ones that are watching us, I invite you to join us next Wednesday, where we will talk about um, Erasmus Plus funding uh, we will give you some tips on how to apply and all the other sessions. Keep tuned on our uh, social media. We will always be posting the, the new sessions there. So have a nice evening. Have a nice evening. Have a nice evening. Thank you, Marco, again. Bye. Thank Bye. you, Fernanda. Bye. Bye. Bye.